I want to be around for a long time, but how I use and spend that time is going to be important from here on out. It's precious. And I never ever thought that I was at the end of anything, that I was always just beginning. I shall always remember this room. With a career spanning almost eight decades, British-born Angela Lansbury started out acting alongside Ingrid Bergman when she was just a teenager. How do you do? I'm all right, ma'am. My first time in front of a camera was Nancy, the maid in Gaslight. So that was a wonderful introduction to motion pictures. She earned an Oscar nomination for her very first role. Then came more critical acclaim for various films throughout her career, including 1962's The Manchurian Candidate and 1971's Bedknobs and Broomsticks. But Angela's biggest love was Broadway. The beginning of my stage career, which of course took over when television sort of shuntered all of us movie starlets aside, and there wasn't that much work. I went to Broadway and very happy to do so. I've toured uh, with great, great shows like Sweeney Todd and Gypsy and Mame and so on, but I've only actually hit a very small, limited audience. That would all change in 1984 when, at nearly 60 years old, Angela made her mark in television history. Mark. Action, Angela. It's a new experience for me. I hope I can pull it off. Murder, she wrote, is very dear to my heart. How could it not be? It's been the most extraordinary success. When I read it, I thought, well, if, if a part was tailored for me to play on television, this is it. Will you both keep this evidence absolutely confidential? The first few weeks were rough, very rough. I thought, gosh, can I continue this? Murder, she wrote, ran for an incredible 12 seasons, much to Angela's surprise. Never in a million years. Yeah. Anybody would said that to me, I would have said, you're crazy. It's the longest Remarkable. running anthology series in the history of television. Now, did you kill that man or did you not? No. We visited the set 14 times. Hi, we're from Entertainment Tonight and we want to congratulate you on 10 years of murder, she wrote. Yeah. And to all of you. Celebrating with Angela as she went from star to box. <laughs> the executive yes. producer, remember. It was a real coup to get Margot on the show. I'm one of your littlest fans. <laughs> She booked countless guest stars. I had to reach deep within myself. <laughs> and for years after the finale, continued playing Jessica Fletcher in several TV movies. It's lovely to know that you can still do it. Lansbury never won an Emmy for her role. She was nominated 17 times. She did earn five Tonys, six Golden Globes. She was made a dame in 2014 and has received multiple Lifetime Achievement Awards. I've won my Lifetime Achievement Award, but that doesn't mean I'm going to stop. I, I have no intention to stop. There were a few years where Angela did slow down and once considered leaving the business. I did. I just, I just wanted to have that sense of uh, not being on call, of uh, just thinking about my home and my family. And, and it was a very good period for me, very rebuilding. She tied the knot with actor Peter Shaw in 1949, together until his death in 2003. Uh, he's right here. Right here. She raised Peter's son from a previous marriage, and they had two kids together. Action! Her son Anthony overcame a battle with drugs to become a successful director on Murder, She Wrote. Angela made it a family affair on the set. That's my father with my twin brothers, Peter, my husband, with my daughter Deirdre, and Here, there's Anthony when he was a kid. My uh, son Anthony, who directs, my son David, who is an uh, exec producer. This is the family business. Let me tell you, it doesn't get to much better than that. She thanked them while accepting her honorary Oscar in 2014. Family was also the reason why she returned to film. It'll turn out all right in the end. You'll see. I thought my grandchildren would enjoy it. <laughs> Isn't that stupid? I thought their kids will see it, and maybe their kids. And that the fact that Angela Lansbury was Mrs. Teapot, their grandmother, their great-grandmother, that could be kind of nice. Beauty and the Beast. Angela sang the title song in Beauty and the Beast and also got to use her voice in Mary Poppins Returns in 2018. It would become one of her final projects. I never say retire. I'm never going to retire. What do you hope your legacy is? Um, that's a good question. Um, never be afraid to take a chance.